You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and the Beautiful fans. I've got your weekly spoilers running from Monday, August 5th through Friday, August 9th. Looks like Katie Logan is actually going to plot with Sheila and Deacon this week. There is a lot going on. I'm excited to unpack it for you. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. And if you're not following us, please click that subscribe button. Now let's just jump right into these really good spoilers for the week ahead. Monday, August 5th, 2024 is season 37, episode 221 of B&B. So over in Monaco, in Monte Carlo, same basic area, if you don't know. I had to look that up. Um, There's a big press conference. They're going to have some press members, but for the most part, it looks like it's going to be broadcast digitally. This is for the Brooks Bedroom relaunch. Brooke Logan speaks to the press and the public as Ridge is there smiling with pride. Meanwhile, back in LA, it's still the same day. Everybody's in the same outfits. And it looks like the gang at Forrester Creations gets together to watch the live broadcast. And Finn is still hanging out and is going to watch it with them. Tuesday, August 6, 2024, episode 222 of season 37. We've got more of the press conference as Ridge and Brooke are there as a united front, a couple very much in love at the launch of a relaunch of a very romantic clothing line, lingerie line. But then there's drama, as we should hope, because it's a soap. Out of nowhere, the website for Brooke's bedroom crashes and panic ensues at Forrester Creations. Now, it could crash for a good reason or for a bad reason. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, we've got Steffi Forster back to arguing with Hope Logan as they're killing time, waiting to hear if the lingerie line launch was a big hit or a big miss. Wednesday, August 7th, 2024 is episode 223 of Bold and the Beautiful. Hope Logan is back to her lusty, lusty daydreaming about Steffi's husband, Ben. I, to me, it's like she is channeling the worst of Thomas is all I can imagine because Ben has made it clear he's not interested. He told her to stop it. He told her not to talk to him like that. So maybe she won't. Maybe she'll just contain it to, you know incredibly flirtatious things in her head and just hallucinating that he might be interested because at the same time that she is daydreaming lustily about Finn, he is busy showing and proving to Steffi just how strong their marriage is and proving that no one and nothing will ever break them. We'll see. Those are bold words. But so far, even when he is defending Hope and annoying Steffi, she is not letting it, you know, affect her marriage. She's being very tolerant of him being overly nice to Hope. Meanwhile, Ridge and Brooke bask in their success. It looks like the Brooks bedroom relaunch is a huge hit. So maybe the website went down because they were just getting so many orders. And be sure and stick around to the end, by the way, because I've got additional spoilers from the promo along with days of the week. Those are going to happen. On Thursday, August 8th, 2024, season 37, episode 224, looks like we're going to flip away from lingerie and over to murder because Katie Logan is asking some really tough questions questions. And as she does more of her investigating, well, she gets an earth 
shattering answer. And I wonder if she figures out who might be the killer. She's been thinking it's Poppy. I don't think it's Poppy. Poppy seemed genuinely shocked to see Luna with the backpack and wonders where she got it. And she says she found it. I feel like whoever's the real killer put the backpack in the apartment, maybe even to frame Poppy. I mean, is Lee framing Poppy? I would put anything a past Lee Finnegan at this point. Friday, August 9th, 2024, season 37, episode 225. This is the weird part about Sheila Deacon and Katie. So Sheila and Deacon are thinking about Tom and Hollis's suspicious overdose deaths. Katie is also pondering their untimely ends, but the way the spoiler is written, it sounds like they're together because it's it's written as Sheila, Deacon, and Katie think about Thomas and Hollis's suspicious deaths. So maybe they're together, maybe not, but it sounds like they are. And since Katie was thinking that Poppy might have done it, maybe she's not too scared to go over and talk to them. You know, some people were jumping to the conclusion of Sheila may have done this. And if Katie either still thinks it's Poppy and thinks she has evidence or she has evidence against someone else, then I don't think she'd be scared to go over there. I think that'd be very interesting to see Katie, Sheila and Deacon. And also on Friday, Katie finds exactly what she has been searching for. It's got to be about Poppy's claims and these murders and maybe the DNA. So in the promo, just by the way, we had the last week, end of the week promo. And then on Monday, we had a special promo for the Monte Carlo trip. And they did not show us this past week that scene with Brooke and Ridge canoodling and that woman watching them. So... I mean, I hope we see it this week. If not, they just stuff, stuck something into the promo that, you know, isn't playing out. There's no spoilers related to it. So kind of weird, kind of weird. We'll see. And other spoilers from the promo, Brooks press conference in Monaco. That's going to happen Monday or Tuesday. That's seen in the promo back in LA. We have Hope, Katie, Zenday, Finn, and Steffi all watching. That should be Monday and Tuesday. Katie is predicting her sister will break the internet. That looks like it's happening on Tuesday. And then we have a scene in the promo of Poppy Nazawa telling Luna that Tom Starr is the past and Bill and the Spencers are their future. That should be happening probably on Monday because Poppy and Luna's conversation about the backpack and the letters began on Friday. So it should carry over onto Monday. Just out of interest, I don't know if you guys noticed that the letters in Tom's handwriting I don't know what extra they had hand address those, but Poppy's last name is misspelled. Her name is Nazawa, and on the envelopes, it was spelled Nawaza. So I don't know if they just didn't tell whoever wrote that or they did it on purpose to make Tom seem stupid. I don't know, but it was very funny. If you didn't notice that, Go back to Friday's episode, and I'll try to drop in a picture here as well. Meanwhile, Katie insists to a skeptical Bill in the weekly promo that his life may be in danger, and it sounds like that's going to come later in the week, Thursday or Friday, when we have those other Katie spoilers about her finally getting the answers that she wants. That's everything that we have for Bold and the Beautiful next week. Please Click that subscribe button if you're not following us. Definitely drop your comments about what you're excited to see and come back soon. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt talking bold and the beautiful with you seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.